Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and yes, I am back with Ice Lakes. It's been a while, but as I've been telling people, I have been, oh, somewhat indisposed for quite a while with this illness that I had, but I am back, and I am going to be playing something a little different today, guys. I usually try to do competitions and tournaments and stuff like that, but I think this time I'm going to be trying to beat my own self. <laughs> basically I want to catch the biggest fish I could possibly catch and that means either barracuda or carp but I think I'm going to start with carp first most of the big fish that have been caught recently have been barracuda I think I'm going to see what kind of carp I can get and I would love to be able to get myself put up on the leaderboard I've only been on a leaderboard once and that was with a, a bluegill and I was like fourth place or something like that. But I'm going to do my darndest to see if I can get on that leaderboard again. And this may take a while, so there's going to probably be breaks. And we're going to be doing free fishing. That way we're not interrupted by all those idiots running around. We're just going to have fun with this, guys. And this is where things get in really interesting. You can make quite a bit of money this way, too, if you haven't tried it. But we're going to go over here to the Dragon Mountains. I'm going to do free fishing. I am going to leave the far, uh, fish fights on. And I believe, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave it evening and winter. Because carp like late night hours. So let's go to the Dragon Mountains, though. And let's go ahead and get this started. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done free fishing with you guys, but this will give us a little bit of a chance to, you know, also get a bit of a look around. But anyway, over here, this is where you sell your fish. And sometimes you can make quite a bit of cash, especially off these carp. But there's a lot of good spots to fish for the carp. Now up here, let me go ahead and put the depth meter on right over here in this deep area right here this is a great place to catch koi and I pulled some big big koi out of here so let's go ahead and see if we can get a couple I know I'm not equipped to catch koi right now. We're going to see what we do have. I have got a lot of lures, balanced lures I've been collecting for a while. But you need to find something that they seem to go for real well. And I'm going to have to check back because it's hard to remember sometimes. But let's see, this one's always good for uh, the black bullheads and the barracudas. We're not going for that right now. That does have koi on there, so we might think about it. Uh, nothing that specifically says koi though, does it? This one does say common carp. This one says, okay, brown trout, pike, brook trout, whitefish, so it looks like we're probably either going to go have to go with the tiger or the silver bite. And since the tiger actually says koi, let's go with that. All right. Now the hook. Hooks can That's your basic hook. But the hooks will tell you what they're best for as well. Now, not all fish have a preference, but it's good to check it because it may help out your 
fishing a little bit. And so far I've only seen Prussian carp. And Barracuda, there's, okay, this one has it good for common carp. And the golden, yeah, so I think the Dotsie is going to be our, our hook. And let's see what kind of lure we have. So we got carp, Prussian carp, big head carp. That might be one that we might want to go with. Crucian carp also for this one. Prussian carp there. So that one we don't want at all. Looks like trout jam is probably our best to go with or the golden balls if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so one of these two are probably going to be our best choice. Let's start with that one. And I believe I'm on my medium rod. We're going to need something a lot heavier. I've got a heavy golden phoenix rod that's real nice. If you can pick up one of these, I would suggest it. And let's go ahead, throw the attractant in, and we'll see if we can get us a big koi. But yeah, it's. I haven't really been walking you all through what I use, but usually when you're in competition, I, you just don't have the time to do that. But my goal is to try to get some of these guys that I play with the Gen X team to, to challenge me <laughs> with this game. I am determined to see if I can get Freak Bird to play. He doesn't think he's good enough, but I, I think he's good enough. He can do it. There we go. Yeah, when they hit, they hit, and they hit hard, and this guy is big. Look at that rod bend, guys. Ooh, this is going to take me a while. Yeah, if you want big fish, this is it. Kind of curious how big this guy is. Wow. Whew. Jeez. 48.78 pound common carp, guys. There you go. It's not a koi, but I'm not complaining, believe me. I think he might be my personal record, guys. 48.78 pounds. That is a big old carp. Yeah, one of my viewers had asked me what is the biggest carp I've ever caught. Well, that's kind of a tricky thing to answer because I don't know what you mean because you got to remember, I used to, in college, I used to, uh, uh, I'm a biologist. And freshwater ichthyology was my specialty. So, aside from just regular fishing, I dealt with fish a lot. And we collected them, did studies on them, counted them, did all kinds of things out here the falls of the Ohio. The Ohio River has a area that's a rapids and when they close the dams down the fish get trapped in pools and we would go down there and well save the fish for one and the other thing is to count them. Yeah 
And down amongst the pools and the rocks, there was a almost like a little creek type thing. And I saw this huge thing floating down from one of the pools above. And I knew it was something pretty good size. So I grabbed one of those big nets like you use to, to catch bass, only much bigger. And ran over there, got in the pool, waited for him to come out. I'm thinking we might have us a, have a good, another good size one, 27 pounds. Anyway, he came over the rocks and I caught him in that net and I had almost fell over because he was so heavy. He ended up weighing over 50 pounds. Damn near 60. I don't remember exactly what he weighed, but he was absolutely huge. That was the biggest carp I ever caught. Now, on hook and line, I think the biggest one I ever caught was around 30 pounds. And believe it or not, I caught it in this little bitty creek <laughs> that uh, I'm not even sure has a name. I was just fishing there for... Uh, bullhead cats and you know we were throwing them back because this is this creek was drainage for you know a lot of places around there so you really couldn't eat them or anything it was just for the fun of it and I managed to hook into something that I swear I thought was gonna break my pole I thought it was a catfish a really big catfish and I saw him splash, and I saw those shiny scales. I knew it was a carp at that point. I had a picture of him somewhere, but hell, I was... Whoa! I was only like 16 at that time, so... It's gone. So my proof is not there, just my memories. Not too bad. He's around nine and a half pounds. But anyway, that's I'm surprised I'm not getting the koi. It's getting a lot of the comet carp. I mean that's not a problem, it's not like I'm upset over it let's see here I've got over here's a good spot to fish right here's a good spot some of the biggest ones I've pulled out have been right here in this little channel though but we're gonna try one more time see if we can't get us a koi and if not we'll go down there and see if we can't find something down there so let's go scoop that out while it's going down yeah carp are a lot of fun to catch but most of the time I don't you know I don't fish for them for food I usually just throw them back I try to get a picture of them so the people can see them so I can prove I really caught it and <laughs> but a lot of people like to eat them but I think you have to have an I don't know how to clean them and there's a certain way you have to clean them and it's just not something I know about There we go, another big one. Yeah, he's not quite as big as that first one. That first one was just amazing. Yeah, he's not too bad. I mean, if I caught him in real life, I'd be thrilled to death. He's I mean, he's decent. 
let's go ahead and go down there I'll show you what I'm talking about down here all right you gotta gotta be careful around here because there's like little paths and you can get yourself kind of stuck so your best bet is just to follow the main path it does take a little longer to get down here, but but yeah, it's right here. And if you come down here, there's like this little rock here where this thing here is. There's actually a deep channel right along here. And if you plant yourself right about in the middle, this is a real good place for common carp. Remember guys, patience, patience. They're not going to just jump on top of you every five minutes. You may have to spend a little time. I know it gets a little antsy when you're in a competition, but with the free fishing, just take your time, enjoy it. Have a little fun. There's no stress. <laughs> there we go. There's our first big one. I was getting ready to get the scoop because of the ice, but he didn't want to give me the chance. I don't think he's as big as that one I got, but he's good size. I would say 20 maybe. Yeah, probably 20. Maybe a little more. Ooh, it's a big head, and I was right, 23 big head carp. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, these guys come pretty darn close to as big as the barracuda, but not quite. The barracuda just get a little bit bigger, and I believe the sturgeon get a little bigger. I think the sturgeon and the barracuda are the biggest with the barracuda tipping out just a little bit more than the sturgeon. But I'm going to come here and see what kind of big ones I can pull out in this episode and the next episode we're going to go to the Chinese mountains. Ooh, this guy's big. And we'll see what we can get there. Still want to pull a decent sized koi out of here. Right now they're eluding me. I'm not sure. I was going to say, I don't think he's as big as the last one. tell you the big head carp they come pretty big too there's some monsters down there that I can guarantee you we just got to find them the other thing is when you're scooping it seems like that's when they tend to hit when you stop for just a minute see Ooh, this guy's bigger than the other two were. Yep. This is a big guy. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. I want to see just how big you are. See if you're all that in a bag of chips, my friend. Ooh, he is big. Oh, it's a common carp. Oh, that's fine. 27 pounds. I will take it. Try 
drop her down I think there's one more big one down there that I need to pull out and I think I'm going to go down over to the that deep part that's down here and try one more time there let me stop for a second nothing keep doing there we go yeah he's not too big this is probably a common yep a little bit of common anyway that's that spot if you want to go for some pretty decent sized carp And up until then, that was probably where I pulled out my largest car common carp. But also right here, this looks like a frozen waterfall, right here in the center. Another good location for big common carp and big head carp as well. I have not caught koi here. Actually, I don't think I've caught koi down in these two portions of the lakes at all. It's just been up here at the top. I'm not saying they don't exist here. I'm saying I haven't caught them. So I don't know for sure where, whether they're here or not, but... The big head carp and the common carp do get quite big here, so there we go. Yeah, not too bad. 6.53. I think we'll try for one more and we'll go cash these guys in, see what kind of cash they bring us. They should bring us some pretty good cash, though, honestly. If you do this for a couple hours, you're going to get a lot more money than you'll probably get in the tournaments. This is a great way to grind for cash, guys probably one of the best ways there we go the barracuda are a little bit harder to get that's why it's better to, to grind these carp ooh this guy's big he isn't as big as that first one but he is big Yeah, he's big. Very big. Nice. There we go. Well, do you want me to try one more time? Eh, let's try one more time. I'll put a little more lure in and we'll just see what happens. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. I hit the button. Didn't mean to hit the button, but I hit the button. All right. It's just, I have this weird feeling that there is a really, really big carp down there that just, well, this, this one's decent. Mm. Twenty ish pounds, probably. There we 
we go. Let's see what he is. Probably a big head. Yep, that's the biggest one I've caught of the big heads. 28.94, not bad guys. Not bad at all. Alright, let's pull stakes here guys. Let's go see how much cash we got. See if we got where we got on the leaderboard. I'm kind of curious. Whoop. All right, let's see what we got for our fish. Look at that. 1,934. That's for what, about 20 minutes worth of work. You spend an hour here, you're going to get all kinds of stuff. Let's sell that sucker. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a great way to get cash. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and quit. Yes, I want to quit. Check the leaderboards, see if I got anywhere close. Well, right now the leaderboard is uh, somebody whose name's in uh, Asian script. I can't, but 77's the the weight to beat there, but let's check the big head carp. Well, let's just check common carp first. Is it here? Crucian carp. Oh, well, there we go. Whew, 55 pounds. Seriously? Damn. That's a big fish. Well, there's a lot of people playing the game, a lot of competition. I will get on this dig on leaderboard. I will do it. Let's try a big head carp here. Nope, about 42 pounds. Let's see, what did I get? I got... Forty-eight pounds. So I didn't do too bad, but jeez, four four thousand seven hundred fifty-one. Nah, not good. Oh well, we tried. I did get the biggest fish today, though. Check. Ha ha. Forty-eight point seven eight pounds. Biggest fish this month is still someone else. It's seventy-five point oh four pounds. Oh well, we'll get there, guys. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys a little bit. That'll show you where you can grind for carp and make some cash and allow you to buy some more and better equipment. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. So until then, always remember, aim straight, cast far, have fun. Bye-bye.